Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about my 10 favorite everyday wearable nude lip products. So if you are someone that is a little bit of a beauty junkie like myself, you are aware that nude encompasses a lot of different shades. You can have really, really pale nudes, you can have very, very deep nudes, depending on your skin tone, different things may flatter you. I personally tend to go for more medium, middle of the road nudes, things that are a little bit more peachy, a little bit more pink. I cannot rock the super pale nude lip. As much as I keep trying and as beautiful as I feel it looks on some people, I feel like I look dead every time I try to wear that shade of nude. It just makes my lips disappear on my face. It's just, it is not really flattering on me. So if you are someone that is in a similar boat and feels that they can't wear really pale nudes and is looking for some recommendations of things that they can use every day to wear to school, to wear to work, to wear for when you're running out to the grocery store, whatever you want, these are like my tried and true favorites. These 10 lip products are probably the most worn in my entire collection. I use these all the time I've worn them a ton and I feel like they are super flattering and go with so many different makeup looks. On an unrelated side note, if I'm lisping in this video, I'm basically relearning how to talk right now. I went to the orthodontist today. I'm done with my Invisalign, so I had all my attachments taken off. I don't need any more trays, which is amazing. But my orthodontist installed like a permanent retainer on my top and bottom teeth. Like I have a little wire basically glued in behind my teeth to hold them in place because it takes a while for your teeth to like resettle into the bone after Invisalign. So your teeth are prone to moving if you don't kind of keep them in the same place for an extended period of time. So I basically can't talk right now or I'm like trying to learn how to talk again with these things in my mouth and I'm, they're gonna be in there permanently for like the next year or so. So please bear with me, hopefully it will get better. I'm sorry if it annoys you, but it is what it is. Anyway, enough rambling about my teeth. Let's get into the 10 lip products that I wanna share with you today. So the first one is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the Dose of Colors Lip It Up Satin Lip Pencil in the shade Cinnamon Swirl. This is something I never hear people talk about. Like this formula in particular, I don't see any influencers raving about it, talking about it. The liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors tend to get a lot of attention, but I really love this formula. It's super creamy, really pigmented, glides on the lips really buttery and beautiful, and it lasts pretty well too. Since it doesn't dry down to a matte finish, it is pretty prone to transferring, so it's something you need to reapply when you eat and drink. But honestly, I don't really mind it that much, and because it is such a flattering, easy to wear color. It's not really very difficult to reapply. So I'm gonna start swatching these for you guys so you can see them side by side. Now it describes this color on the website as being like a burnt orange red, but I don't really see this as a red color. This is definitely a nude to me. So don't let the pictures online scare you. This is a really beautiful flattering color. It's got kind of that warm, maybe orangey undertone, but it definitely to me is still nude. It's not too deep. For me, this definitely like lets my lips still stand out on my face but it's not so deep or so contrasting that I feel like I couldn't wear it with a bold eye look. It's really flattering for every day and I just, I'm obsessed. The one thing I will say about this product that I don't like is the packaging. The bullet doesn't twist down into the packaging here. So when you open it, it's so easy to like ding the side of the bullet with the cap. I wish it retracted all the way down and then this would be perfect. The next one that I think is such a fantastic product for the price point is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the shade Uno Moss. These lipsticks are incredible. They're $7. They are again, super creamy, super pigmented, long wearing. They have a matte formula and like a satin formula. I believe this is one of the satin ones. So again, this doesn't dry down. It will transfer when you eat or drink, but it's really, really easy to reapply, especially in this shade. This is described as a warm peachy nude and I think this is probably one of the lightest ones that's in the collection I'm going to show you guys. But I think it's so flattering and so pretty if you have a more warm undertone to your skin. It just is, it's not too cool, it's not too pink, but it's also not too orange. It's like a really nice in between. I love wearing this shade with a smoky eye, especially because I feel like it creates a nice bit of balance. 
it's light, but it's not too light. It's not too nude. I feel like it still is really wearable and doesn't give me those blanked out concealer lips that some true pale nudes do. Then I have one other like bullet lipstick that I wanted to share with you guys. This is one of the Lorac Alter Ego Satin Finish Lipsticks. Not a lot of people talk about Lorac aside from their eyeshadows, but they do have some other really great products. I love their blushes, their highlighters, and their lip products as well. So this is in the shade Cat Lady, and I honestly remember when I first got this, I wore it all the time. Now this is a more cool toned mauve nude shade, so if you're someone that has a more pink undertone to your skin or generally uh, likes to rock those cooler toned products, this may be way more up your alley. It has a really nice sheen to it, it's got a very like buttery hydrating formula. Again. This one does not dry down, so it will transfer. There are a few more transfer-proof options that I'll be sharing with you guys later. But to be honest, I've been really loving the hydrating, creamy lip formulas lately. I think my lips need a little break from the whole liquid lipstick thing. So if you don't mind a creamier lip formula, I think the Alter Ego lipsticks, the satin finish ones, especially from Lorac, are amazing. They also smell legit like candy like vanilla. They're really, really sweet and delicious, almost a little bit like a MAC lipstick. Now these next four are all liquid lipsticks that I absolutely love both the formulas of and the colors of. I'm going to start out with one of the more moussey and whip textured ones. This is a Bare Minerals Gen Nude liquid lipstick. These have a very soft hydrating feel on the lips. Again, they, they kind of dry down, but not completely, especially for like the first hour after you apply them. I feel like they can transfer off fairly easily, but again, they reapply really, really well. So this is in the shade Weekend, which I honestly haven't really heard anybody talk about before, and I am obsessed with this shade. It is very peachy, like it's a peachy pink, and I think it is, again, so, so super flattering, especially on someone that has a more golden undertone to their skin. These liquid lipsticks, oh my god, they smell like hot cocoa. Like they smell like chocolate, but like a, a sweeter chocolate, almost like a malted milk ball or something like that. So insanely delicious. The formula of these is one of my favorite for liquid lipsticks. If you want something super transfer proof, obviously you may not enjoy this, but I feel like for a nude, the transferring is not such big of a deal. So this again, I have worn, I can't even tell you how many times it is one of my all-time, all-time favorite colors. Now, another one that I've been really into lately, and this is from the drugstore, is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip Liquid Lipstick. This is a newer launch. I think these came out in the spring of 2018. This doesn't have as much of a smell. It doesn't smell bad, a little chemically, but maybe just like that slight sweet kind of scent to it. Uh, now, this is a much more liquidy formula than the Bare Minerals, which has a very whipped texture to it, but it has this really nice um, diamond-shaped applicator that lets you get around the lip line with a lot of precision. It's really, really nice. And what I love about this particular liquid lipstick formula is the way it feels on the lips. It's not heavy at all. It really feels like you're barely wearing anything on your lips. It's super comfortable. It kind of like semi dries down. So it kind of does look matte, but it's not that like really crackly dry kind of liquid lipstick formula. Again, not the most transfer resistant, but it hangs around for a pretty long time. And again, the applicator does make it really easy to reapply. So this shade, Bear With Me, is a really, again, beautiful kind of warmer, rosy nude shade. I think it's so, so stunning on the lips. I believe it's one of the lighter shades in the collection, but when you swatch it next to the other shades that I have shown you guys so far, it actually looks fairly deep. I think it's a really nice, like, my lips but better kind of shade. I find it's really easy to wear with so many different looks. So this is one of my current favorites, and I think they retail for like $7, which you can't beat. Now this next one, I actually got like by surprise, which it ended up being really awesome that I loved it as much as I do. This is one of the Makeup Geek Plush Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and I got this in like a, a mystery box that I ordered from Makeup Geek around maybe Halloween. Uh, this is in the shade Soccer Mom, and I wore this constantly after I got it. I was so in love. Again, this one doesn't really have too much of a scent. It's a little bit chemically 
and it is also a very moussey whipped textured formula maybe even more than the bare minerals this one is more of a pink nude like a true neutral pink nude but i think it's just so so pretty again i feel like it just kind of goes with everything if you like pink but you don't like something really really bright and in your face i think this is a really nice shade Again, it has a more silicone whipped texture, so it's gonna feel very hydrating on the lips. It's not gonna be crackly or dry down weird. These ones I do feel like they kind of set in pretty well. They are long wearing again, but when they first go on, because they are so whipped and moussey, they take a while to really dry down, so you kind of need to be careful and not eat or drink for a while, otherwise they're gonna just wipe right off. But again, this is such a pretty color. I love, love, love wearing this one. And especially like in the spring and summertime, I think it's a really, really flattering shade. Then the last liquid lipstick that I have for you guys is from a brand called Color Lit. Now they are an indie brand. Literally all they have right now are liquid lipsticks. They only have four different shades and they're all kind of like pinky nude colors. They're really pretty. It's a female founded brand. So the owner reached out to me and sent me the four shades that they currently have and asked me if I wanted to try them out. I said of course, and honestly I really like the formula of these liquid lipsticks. They remind me a little bit of the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Formula. They're not as drying as the Ultra Matte Lip, but they again are a more traditional liquidy kind of liquid lipstick formula. They pack on really nice pigmentation, they're very very smooth, I'm gonna need to like swatch this around the corner of my arm because I'm, I'm like running out of visible space for you guys over here. But this one is in the shade Stunner, which is my favorite of the four shades that are available in this lip product. It's again, a more kind of like rosy, pinky type of nude, and I think it is so stunning, which is, okay, Stunner, I did, pun was not intentional there. This formula does dry down matte. It is pretty transfer resistant. So again, if you are looking for a more traditional liquid lipstick, this one is great. But it's really not overly drying, which I really appreciate. It doesn't make my lips like crack and peel. It doesn't like settle into fine lines or do anything weird. I just think it's a really flattering formula and this is such a flattering color. I am like, I'm obsessed a little bit. And then last, I've got three glosses to share with you guys. So the first one is from a brand that again, I don't really hear very many people talk about here on YouTube, Denislava, who is um, a YouTuber who has incredible tutorials oh my god she's so cute and she does her makeup amazingly she does use motives uh, products in some of her tutorials but she's like the only other person that i've ever really seen use motives on their channel but this is the all day liquid stick in the shade sultry this is really like a lip lacquer i would say it's a super like pigmented gloss it has that very thick texture that really really hangs onto the lips it's very long wearing but this stuff will get everywhere. It does not dry down. So if you do not like a lip product that like your hair can get stuck in or that will come off on your coffee cup, this, this may not be up your alley, but it's not sticky. Like your lips don't stick together when you wear it. It's just, it puts that really like thick glossy layer on top of your lips that gives them that really high shine finish. So this is a really nice, I would say like neutral, mauvey pink shade. I've gotten so many compliments whenever I've worn this. So many people have asked me what I'm wearing on my lips and honestly I think it is really underrated because again I hear nobody talking about it but it's a beautiful lip formula and I would definitely recommend it. Then this guy I just have a little sample of. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lipstick in the shade Whip. I love love basically everything Bite does. Their original Amuse Bouche lipsticks are some of my favorite hands down like all together. I really want to get the shade Sweet Cream. I was looking online today and that one is, it's a brighter color. It's more of like a, pe like a true peach. So I didn't include that in this video because it's not really a nude lip. But I do really like the bullet lipstick formula is the point. This one though is again, kind of more of a full opaque lip gloss, lip lacquer kind of situation. It's not a sheer gloss, it offers full pigmentation. It's really almost like you took a bullet lipstick and melted it down and like threw a little hint of gloss in there. So I would describe Whip as a little bit more of a 
cool nude. It's not really pink, but it's not really brown either. It has that slightly more taupey undertone to it, but it's not too heavily gray, which is why I find it to be really, really wearable. I think this looks, again, super, super stunning, especially if you do like a cool toned smoky eye. Gorgeous. But even for every day, it's really nice because it doesn't, again, cancel your lips out. It's not too pale, it's not too gray, it's just a really, really flattering color. And this formula, it smells lemony and delicious, it's ridiculously hydrating on the lips, and it leaves leaves that really beautiful high shine finish, which I think is very on trend right now. So if you've never tried the Amuse Bouche liquefied lip formula, it really is very nice. And this, I think, is a shade a lot of people will be able to get behind. And last, but certainly not least, I have this product here from Butter London. This is more of your true gloss. It's much more sheer, but very, very shiny. You could wear it on its own. You could layer it over a lipstick or a lip liner, kind of whatever your preference is. This is the Sheer Wisdom Lush Lip Oil in the shade Cinnamon Spice. Of all of the shades in this product range, this one has the most pigmentation, which is why I actually really like it because it is very, very wearable on its own. It gives your lips just like a really healthy flush of color. Do you see how it's, it's sheer? I mean, it's called sheer wisdom, so like what do you expect? But it definitely does have a tint to it that kind of has that your lips but better tone, but it's a more peachy, rosy kind of tone and then a cool mauve tone, which I think, again, is really flattering for someone with my undertones. So I cannot get enough of this. This is one of those things that just lives in my purse and I can just kind of throw it on whenever because it makes your lips look really juicy and healthy. It's super, super moisturizing and it's pretty much like a no-brainer. You could like apply it without a mirror and it's sheer enough that you don't need to be super precise. So it's very, very forgiving and it just feels really nice on the lips. The packaging is super cute. It has a sponge tip applicator and then you just like click it up in the pen here. Uh, so it's just really easy, handy to throw in your purse. It doesn't like leak. I haven't had any problems with it and it's pretty too. So definitely if you're curious to try out this formula, I would suggest cinnamon spice. I think it is a really, really flattering, beautiful shade. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my lip product recommendations. I would love to hear your guys' favorite nude lips. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. What are your favorite shades, your favorite lip products? What do you reach for on the everyday? I always am so excited to hear your suggestions. If you liked this style of video and you want to see more of my lip recommendations or more of my like collection of favorites style video like top five this or top ten that give this video a thumbs up let me know again in the comments what you would like to see next and if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you want to see more of my videos in the future make sure you click that button before you go i upload every monday wednesday and friday so i hope i will see you back here and with all that being said i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye